Hey people, thanks for coming back. I know it's been a while, but let's get right into it. Two blow dry techniques, eight steps each. So we're all done with washing and conditioning our hair. Woohoo! We used our 10 easy pre-poo steps to get started. Then our easy shampoo steps to cleanse and 10 easy conditioning steps for some detangling and reconstructing. Now we can move on forward to styling our hair. This is the fun part. Blow drying pros, big hair, stretched hair, more manageability, you feel like Shaka Khan or Diana Ross, and you're able to see length clearer and retain it for long periods of time. Blow drying cons. Excessive use can damage, break, or thin hair. High tension and stress on hair. Very drying to hair, if not heavily moisturized correctly. Tools needed to blow dry. You'll need a blow dryer with or without a comb attachment with a temperature setting to dry and to stretch your hair. The pads of your fingers is all you'll need to massage product into your hair. You'll need clips to secure your sections. Wide tooth comb is optional for detangling or you could just use your fingers. Butter to seal in your moisture. Oil and or leave-in conditioner to seal in moisture. Applicator bowl or one of your bowls Tupperware from your kitchen plastic cap to retain moisture while conditioning is optional towel to place around your neck and to frequently wipe your hands because this process gets a little messy remember if you have any questions contact us at naturalwoolly at gmail.com now on to the steps enjoy technique one great for types one to three hair comb is needed step one grab your preferred section then secure the rest with clips and plastic cap the plastic cap is optional if your hair does not dry that quickly step two grab your hair butter ready for access and then grab your oil and or leave-in and pour it into your bowl for easy access water is where moisture comes from butter oils and leave-ins aid to seal in the moisture or the water that is already saturated in our hair and also to add nutrients. You want to use a butter, oil, and or leave-in conditioner that are nutrient packed. You can tell when a butter and oil or leave-in is great when you massage it on your skin and your skin absorbs it well and stays soft for a good amount of time. It will act similar towards your hair. If you would like to see a DIY video on how to make your own butter and oil, comment below and we'll be sure to share our recipes. Step three, grab a finger full of butter and place it on the palm of your other hand. Then take three fingers into your oil bowl. Quickly wipe the oil off onto the same palm your butter was placed. Then rub your hands together to mix both butter and oil together now smooth your buttery and oily palms evenly onto the section of hair you chose to deal with first. This is also called the lock method or the LOC method in the natural hair world. L is for hair lotion or leave-in, O is for oil, and C is for cream or butter. As long as one to two of those things can adequately seal in water to your hair, you are doing fine. Step four. Wipe your product off of your fingers on a towel or paper towel. This will help your hands not slip and glide down your blow dryer to grip and handle it better. Step five, finger detangle and or use a comb. This will help lessen the tension your blow dryer comb makes on your hair strands. A good detangled, clean, deep conditioned and moisturized hair is great for a blow dry process. Step six, Blow dry the section with the comb attachment from ends to root on medium heat, not high, until dry. Be sure to continue to smooth your hair downwards as you are combing through your hair with the blow dryer. 
be sure to have a secure hair attachment with no open creases to lessen snags, breakage, and tension. The goal is not to have your hair bone straight. The goal is to have it stretched enough to gain that big voluptuous hair we all adore. You can blow dry with cool air, but it will take twice as long to dry, which is fine if you have the time. We will explore other ways to dry our hair with even less tension in technique two. Repeat steps three to six to the rest of your hair sections, repetition, repetition, repetition. Step eight, add a leave-in to your hair for added moisture, then seal it with the butter or oil, then you're all done. You can leave your hair like this as an awesome big style or you can proceed to styling how you desire to. The blow dryer has a tendency to suck nearly all the moisture out of our hair. Feel free to replenish your hair with a leave-in. Remember a good leave-in starts with water as its first ingredient on the back of your product. Then use a sealant whether it's a butter concoction or an oil concoction of choice. Technique 2. The tension method. Comb is not needed. Step six, hold your section of hair out, stretched and taut, or very tightly stretched, but not too tightly to hurt your scalp. Then blow dry your hair without the comb attachment. This is called the tension method. It is less stressful and actually provides less tension than technique one. Technique one is great for types one to three hair, being that these types of hair can handle heat and tension a little better than type four hair. Type four hair loves to be left alone as much as possible. Step seven, repeat steps three to six to the rest of your hair sections. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Step eight, add a leave-in to your hair for added moisture, then seal it with a butter or oil then you're all done. You can leave your hair like this as an awesome big style. Great work. Comment below and let us know how these techniques work for you. Also, share your own techniques. Thank you for all your support on naturalwoolly.com and sending your beautiful pictures with your natural woolly shirts and products. Feel free to share with your friends and family about naturalwoolly.com. Join the Natural Woolly community here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Tumblr. Thanks for stopping by. Until next time, take good care of yourself, people. Peace and blessings. Natural Woolly.